name? Oh, don't worry, we'll fill that out. <clears throat> Thank you, though. No. Yeah, so this is for Callus. So this this is not a ward. It was at one time. Okay. I, I used Ward Be Gone. Okay. And Ward got rid of it. Yeah. And same thing here. This is Callus, right? Because you have a, a higher arch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the higher arch is what gives you a tripod stance. So you put a lot of pressure here, here, and here. Uh, okay. So that's why. I wish my husband was here and tell him about the toe fungus. Yeah. So it's just, what is wrong with it? It's just You damaged your toenail. I just damaged it. Eh? Yeah, and you'll see, because we'll be able to kind of trim all that nail back that's lifted, and then it won't look so discolored. Okay. So it'll look a lot better. Sorry about my twitching. I don't know why I do that. Again, this area is callus. Okay. And how you can tell the difference is so if you look, so this one you can see the cauliflower and you see all these little black dots and, yeah. and you kind of see like all these little circles kind of in the ward itself. And then when you jump here and you look at the callus, it's all just smooth, right? So you don't see the little black dots, the skin lines go through the callus. So that's how you can tell the difference. So I don't have to buy tea tree oil in that? No, I won't. I just ran out. Oh, hey, perfect. Then yeah, don't <laughs> And the Mikitin, too. crazy about what's going on outside, eh? It's crazy weather. It feels like we're going into the yeah. winter. I thought there's a sun today. I know. Are you a basketball fan? Ah, uh, I used to play basketball. Did you? But uh, I never got into watching it. No, will you be watching it now that the Raptors have made it to oh, the finals? Oh, they made it, eh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Gosh, it'd be amazing if they won. I'll be the happiest person. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since the Toronto team has done this well. I know the Leafs are a joke, eh? <laughs> yeah, they're not doing the greatest. So you see all this is just lifted, thick, damaged nail. Oh, okay. Okay, so you kind of see how it's just flaking off here. Oh. And here... Can I show you? This is all just debris, right? So you can see there, it's just... Dead skin? Yeah, debris, skin. I mean, it looks like you might have a dog. Do you have a dog at home? Two cats. Two cats, okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's just because the nail, what happens is it gets damaged and then it grows thick and then it, it traps all everything under there. And you can't get it out until you cut that lifted nail out. Okay. And that's why we cut it back and cut all that lifted nail back because it, it's a perfect breeding ground for like fungus and bacteria to sit there and infect the nail, so to speak. The same with this one. So see how that's all lifted? 
Okay, now cutting it back, we might be able to actually get the, a nice new nail to grow in because it's not being damaged all the time. Okay. You know what I did it? What? I had shoes that were way too tight. Yeah, that's very and common. Yeah. It's allergy season for me, so oh, you hear me kind of sniffling and... See, my husband left because oh. he thought you had a cold. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> he said, tell him sorry, but I think he's got a cold. No, it's <laughs> my allergies. And the thing is, I can't... Well, I can. I can take is Annie. Is it my cats? I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Don't worry. It, like, if I take an antihistamine, I'll be like, I'm so tired. So I can't do it. Or I don't work so well. No, thank God I don't have a cold. Okay, so we're gonna pile those nails. Ready? Ready. Gonna tickle. You okay? Yeah. Perfect. Mm. And this nail is going to feel so much better because now you're not going to get all this pressure on there. So as I mentioned, you see how this is, when the nail's lifted like this and all this debris gets under there, right? Right. It's an area where debris kind of holds their fungus and bacteria and get a bunch of host under there, so to speak, right? Right. So it's actually why, like when we do surgery, we have surgical kits that come with nail clippers and they come with little kind of wedges to clean out underneath your nail because short nails are healthy nails. Right, and you have to trim your toenail or your fingernails when you're doing surgery to keep it nice and clean. Same right. goes for toenails. You don't want that debris to be in there and hanging around. That's right. Because it's dirty, and we want it to be clean. That's right. There you can kind of see, and we'll clean up a little bit more, but now that nail is all nice and healthy there. Oh, much better. Definitely.
So here you got a bunch of different layers of nail. And it's probably just because it's been rubbing on shoes or different traumatic events where your body's kind of said, hey, we got to worry about healing the body and not worry so much about the nail. Okay? And those are called Bose lines. But here you can see all this loose nail. You okay? Yeah. Perfect. Any pain? Just a little, maybe a little bit when you go around the side. Once we get this out too, that nail will grow out a lot healthier. Okay. It won't feel nearly like this because now it's all healthy nail, right? Thank you very much. No problem. Sorry. <laughs> It's gonna feel so much better too, right? So there you can kind of see. I'm just gonna try and get this debris out here. There we go. Okay. Now, for warts, there's different types of ways to treat warts, okay? There's conservative and the different methods. There's a bunch of different methods. One of the best ones we find, so there's salicylic acid, liquid nitrogen, like that. We don't find them that effective, okay? What we like to use is a medication called Canticure. It okay. creates a blister, okay? Oh, okay. Now, that hurts. It's not going to hurt today when I put it on, but it hurts when it creates the blister. Oh, okay? okay. So, we need to create some trauma to get your inflammatory response, to get your body to respond to it. Okay? okay. So, that would be my suggestion. Okay, and then we can go from there. Surgical options, there is cutting the mouth. Okay, you can needle them. Um, and then I would say like less invasive surgery would be kind of the laser. Okay. I like to try with conservative first, and then we can jump to something a little bit more aggressive, okay? okay. Let's just see how much we have success with the conservative, and if we notice changes, well then great. Oh, yeah, I feel it there. Alright, okay, so that's as low as I'll go then, but you can see all the callus that was built up there. So we're going to work top and then we'll go bottom. So you got one on the end of your toe here. Now, again, warts are very contagious, okay? Okay. So, anywhere you've gone barefoot where someone else has, you could have picked up the wart or be spreading the wart. So, we should, I should check the feet then, eh? I would.
because these it looks like they've been here for a while and there you can see all the little circles that kind of show you that it's a a wart that cauliflower look How did you cut up? Sorry, thank you. Yeah, she says I have a weird uh, hyperextension on my my feet. Yeah, you you have yeah. kind of that an anterior. Yeah. Well, you have a higher arch, right? And then you're you have a little bit of like an ankle aquinas, so. So again, we want to scrape all this callus off because we don't want to treat the callus, we want to treat the wart itself, right? right? These were deep. Are they deep? Yeah. yeah. So once they're gone, it'll feel so much better. <laughs> so we'll all have to come back then? Definitely, we have to see you back in two weeks. Two weeks? Because we gotta get rid of these. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're right, you're right. This is gonna be the cool. <laughs> Okay, so keep it dry for 24 to 48 hours. This is gonna hurt, but we gotta, no pain, no gain, so to speak, okay? That's right. You can use um, band-aids as needed for the pain to offload it, okay? Okay. Um, make sure you're looking for signs of infection, so any redness, streaking, pus, okay. change in color, change in temperature, those are all signs of infection. Okay. Call us and get back in here right away. Okay. If you can't, then go to Emerge. Okay, if you see red streaking up the leg or you have a fever over 100, okay. or your foot changes color, then go to Emerge right away, because that means the infection's spreading pretty fast. Okay. I've never had that happen, but I mean, it can happen. It yeah. can, it's just, you gotta be super careful, right? Okay. So, dry for 24 to 48 hours, okay? We'll okay. make, there's, um, use padding as needed, Okay, um, and the bandages that are needed. Okay. Okay. Also, guys, one thing about the summer that I didn't kind of, well, I kind of hinted at it in some of our old videos is one thing is people always ask me kind of what creams that we used and and what we put on people's feet and, and so this is something that I worked on all summer. It is called Heel Foot Cream. It's made by us um, and for us. So we do use this now on patients um, so I hope it's, it's a product that people like um, we put a lot of work into it it's a lot this summer to do it and this is something I mean we do have it available it is the link will be in the bio